Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Boozer here. Thanks for joining me today. Happy Friday to everybody. Uh, Christmas weekend coming up, so hopefully you guys are going to have some nice, fun holiday festivities. Today's video, we're going to be doing some live arena. So let's jump right into it. Um, so let's see, 40, 4078, we are ranked 362. Um, win rate slowly dropping, slowly dropping. One point every week or two. Um, yeah, been playing more, just testing, testing some champs. I rebuilt, um, like I said, I rebuilt a bunch of champs. Um, so let's see them in action here. Still getting over this um, cough. I think I had like laryngitis or something. But uh, yeah, it's one of those coughs that kind of wake you up in the middle of the night. So bear with me. Hopefully I won't cough into the mic or anything like that. But, uh, yeah. So lately I've been, when I've been playing live arena, I've just been playing like the same two or three people. Like back to back to back. Um, so it feels like, whoa, biohack. Oh, this is this actually I don't see very often um, where you see the content creator tag versus content creator. So Biohack, you know, he has a Quintus. He has a Quintus. Um, I think he runs Foley as well. So let's see. I'm gonna be a little strategic here. I don't. I'm not sure. I I don't really know his account that well or well enough to make um you know any any kind of specific specific plays but uh he's definitely has more experience than me i see a lot of his live arena videos so um get posted up so he's definitely uh, lots of experience oh there's quintus doing his thing um hmm Quintus showing up here with the Arbiter. Arbiter's gonna go try to go first, I guess. Let's see here. So Duchess Arma seems fine. So let's go with the Arma. And then we'll go with Duchess. Seems quite fine. And then um yeah, our last pick could be Makagi. Could be Necrit. Could be Helicath. Depending on what he picks as his last damage dealer. I mean, if he goes Wukong, we might go Helicath. But it'll be cool to see Quintus in action. Um, he actually has a really cool video out on Quintus where he's actually used in not just Arena. He uses it in uh, other PvE content. So he does a really thorough showcase on Quintus, which is really, really good. If you guys are interested, definitely check out his channel. Runs a lot of arena stuff. Um, okay, so he's going Ragash. I think this is a Reviver. I'm not too familiar with the kit, to be honest. Feels like a Reviver, though. I'm not going to take Makagi here. So Necrit seems fine. And then we'll ban... Warlord, or we ban this guy? Probably ban Warlord. We ban Warlord. He's gonna have attack up on his Quintus. I don't know how strong his, you know, his champions are. Um, but I don't know. It might be slightly stronger than mine. Let's see how fast his uh, his team is. Right? Maybe maybe he has like a three hundred speed Quintus. And then we get like one shot or something. I doubt it. I doubt. Quintus is faster than mine, but he has a Arbiter 30% uh, speed aura. His champion's gonna get a go before me. Okay. <laughs> uh gg man gg <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe a rematch maybe a rematch 
<laughs> GG man. I guess uh, after losing, I mean, he has two revivers, right? He can bring back the Quintus, but I guess he he knows that we're just gonna blast blast his team uh, right after right after um, we get a go. That's kind of cool. First time I've seen um, cardio versus cardio, actually. So that's pretty cool. A little bit surprising. Ah, uh, why? The more I play against the duel, the more I just want to ban Marichka. She's just like a huge pain in the butt. I feel like I take uh, Helicath. Gonna try. Like six stars, six stars, like definitely massive uh pretty big whale account, but he doesn't have the plus four void legendaries. Forge it. It's going to be tough because the A1, he has two nukers. Um, yeah. Might get blasted by the Georgid. Fear right away too. So that really, really sucks. Got feared. We'll see if he's dead. Everybody's dead. Let's see how this shakes out. No, he's way too strong. Plus four Duchess, way too strong. I just can't even, like, that's all I got. So little off of him. Oh, man. See how this goes. Taking a ton of life from this. Um... So what we could do here, <clears throat> we kill the Mary. We won't get an extra turn. That's the thing. We have no choice but the A one. Hopefully we get an extra turn. We don't. Yeah, we're just gonna get blasted here by the. Um... 
DPS. He's gonna go first. I mean, oh, actually, block revived. Okay, let's see if we can stop this Georgia. No, we can't. <clears throat> Definitely got. I mean, got as close as we could. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it. I guess it is what it is. If CP could have done something, maybe we could have done something. But this is a pretty strong, strong team. But Rotos gave us like the best chance we had. Maybe if we had like, not too sure. Maybe if we had something, something else. Same guy again. Shit. He has Yumiko, so I can pick Warlord later. Pick Warlord anytime. He went Yumiko Sifi. Yumiko. No, he went Yumiko Duchess. I might go Duchess again. Yumiko Duchess and then Georgian and then whatever. Okay, so he's going a little bit different. I think we bring Necrit in this time. And he's probably going to bring Yumiko plus another damage dealer. This time he brings Rodos. He's going to go first, I guess. Okay, let's see what happens. I think this lineup is a little bit better than um, the last fight, but let's see. Is George is gonna, yeah, one shot through bolster. Yeah, at least we killed it off. Probably should have revived actually. Now we're gonna lose people. Oh. Alright. Now we can recover. That was Harma's passive, shutting down the Rodos there. So Georgia comes back. Nice. 
That's pretty big. Let's kill her. Okay. Up to Rotos to kill everybody. Nice. Got the counterattack off. Ooh, shut down. Ooh, it's going to be tight. Nope, not good enough, right? No. <laughs> this guy, man. Oh my god, this guy. Mm. It was all that Marichka. Mm. That's so nasty, man. The extra turns. Extra turn, A1, extra turn, and then, oh, nasty. We should have won this one. This one we got kind of unlucky, I think. A little bit unlucky. Ah, great. Yeah, I should have split split those split the wins with that guy. But uh yeah, I think a little bit unlucky. Roto's got two extra turns on those A1s. UDK is really good against Sifi Wukong. It just feels like a pretty easy pick. And then we get Rodos. I was thinking to go Haruma as well. Let's see, let's see what his last pick is. I saved the support pick for the last pick. We could go Arbiter. You could go like Rhonda or something. Rhonda would counter Rotos. Yeah, so he gets the Harma. Mm. That's fine. That's actually totally fine. The UDK should give us time to punch through here. Make him waste a revive. I mean, he kind of has to. Good 
Now let's see what his AoE can do. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep. Oh shit. Ugh. It's kinda nasty here. Rudo's gonna die. Can't even protect my team. Guess I try to fear the Necrit. Nope. He goes first, so he's A ones. sucks there's no way this will go through yeah it's not strong enough hmm yeah I need the rotos but that uh, but that the uh, a3 killing my arbiter is really really bad This Duchess is pretty thick. I don't think I can go through him with uh, Taras's A2. Oof. Yeah, pretty big smacks. Yeah, and then ally protection. AoE might kill Taras here. Nope. Can't even kill the Wukong. Feels bad, man. Yeah, maybe Arbiter wasn't the right pick. Lost three in a row. Should have probably won this one. <laughs> tough, tough outing so far. Tough outing so far. But you know what? Goal three, I mean, it's tough. But you know what? It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun, right? Because, like, this part of the game, you know, you want to, like, improve in, right? Whereas, like, PvE, once you have things on auto or once you get to certain champions, once you get them geared out, you don't really need to touch them again. Like, for example, like, Clan Boss. Clan Boss is just, like, dead content. You click a button and then you get some loot at the end of the day and that's it. Like, it used to be fun. Like, maybe, like... You know your first year first year to year and a half you're trying to do you know you're trying to make whatever comp work for you try to get as high as possible but once you get your team figured out you don't need to invest anything into that clan boss team again i learned i've definitely learned a lot like when i was um yeah, when I was building my clan boss teams, because I have two accounts, I had to build two different clan boss teams. And, you know, I've definitely learned a lot about clan boss teams. But nowadays, like, I don't need to do anything with clan boss, just dead content. Um, I mean, Doom Tower, same thing. Once you had the, once you had the Doom Tower figured out, you know, no need to change your teams up or anything like that.
definitely getting some um pretty mega like nasty opponents that's for sure oh well it is what it is this guy has 16 trophies is that 16 silver place trophies or is that 16 first place trophies i think uh panda is the leader of uh sacred pandas so i think they're like the top or one of or maybe top three top or top three clan in terms of like account player power i think yeah definitely some some of the strongest accounts uh in the game in those clans um Okay, so he's going to go first. So he wants to go first. That's fine. That's fine. Fine with me. I want to pick Rotos with my last pick. Just kind of like... As the... Uh, luck element if he goes marichka and then like georgie or something then kind of screwed Harma. all right Harma is kind of screw like screws up rotos too mm. All right, so he goes first, boost, boost. Then what happens? Do we get a go? Let's see. Oh, we go first. not going to use it yet uh, let's break the stack yep gotta be a little bit careful because he has the six star sheep going on I mean, his champs are super strong, right? So it's going to be tough either way. I don't think the A2 will blow through that Duchess, so I still have to grind him down a little bit here. Keep her down.
Okay. Sleep him. Stun? No stun. Sleep her. Weak hit. Uh oh. Keep her slept. Keep him slept. Kill her. Kill her. Nope. Slow and steady, guys. Slow and steady. Sleep her. Sleep him. Oh man, GG man. <laughs> ah, GG, look at this team. Yeah, we <clears throat> totally kept him um, at bay. Look at his team, did no damage. Um, yeah, just kept him at bay. Uh, GG. Some of these bites like seem impossible. Um, but you try to play them out and then ends up working in your favor sometimes. So that's a really, uh, yeah, really good one. I don't want to play him again. That's for sure. I'll take my win and then, uh, I'll be, ha I'll be happy. Be happy with that for a little while. For sure. That guy beats me like nine out of 10 games. So. But yeah, it's uh, hella impressive. Like you see, guy with like 16 first place platinum trophies. It's like, um, yeah, this guy, this guy arenas. This guy's definitely arenas. Pretty hard. I feel like I played against this guy before. Six stars, sheep, duchess. Maybe that's the best. Maybe that's the best he's got. Right? Warlord, less good. That's good here. Um, Wukong is good against um, Leo. Because if he dies, he comes back. Uh, Mikagi can't stun Leo, so that's not that good. Um, we probably still take Warlord just because of the fear factor. Yeah, let's do this. We can save one spot for like um, Rotos if he goes Rotos. Um, Leo's, I don't know. To me, like it feels like Leo can always blows me away, or I have a hard time dealing with him. Can't CC him. Hard to kill him. Yeah, I could have picked Rotos myself, actually, which actually would have been pretty decent. But uh, Wukong is pretty decent against uh, Lion as well.
Yeah, it's interesting. Feel like we go first. I feel like we go first. Necrit? Without Necrit, Necrit can't protect um, the Rhonda or the, or the Leo anymore. <laughs> Forgot about the six star sheep on the guy. I think I go before them. Yep. Mm, I guess I try to smash them all. Good. Good. Oh my goodness, I didn't get the I didn't get this unkillable from him. You joking me? Sheep should be GG, right? I mean, sleep should be GG. Yeah, GG. I didn't strip the. I didn't strip his unkillable. That didn't go according to plan. I definitely played this guy before. Gromov. I should, um, actually the better players are starting to keep track of, keep track of what players do. So I should definitely keep track of what players I see frequently, what they, you know, what they are using. You could track down like how fast their their guys are or any kind of special special stats. Might remove the arbiter. Mm, never mind. So Raka is a cleanse. Raka is cleanse. It's unlikely his champs are that fast. Like, my Sifi or my Makagi should cut in. Even with the boost, I think they should cut in here. No, really? So surprised. Shoot. Kill everybody? There we go. That sh should be GG. Yeah, so his nukers are very fast. I guess, I guess not super fast because he did have the 30 uh, Arbiter Aura and the boost and that's how he caught up. But they're probably still pretty fast. But uh, yeah, luckily I got the stun off just in time and then...
This guy is new, never seen this guy before. I guess people live stream live arena as well, right? Do people ever get into issues with like um, people like peeping in on the game while they're playing them, for example, so they can see what they're picking or what they're thinking? Why would you pick Wukong first? Interesting. Wukong nuker right away. Last pick will be Rodos. Then we might remove, maybe we remove Necrit. Damn, everyone has six star sheep. I guess, I guess if your first six star was. Yeah, I guess if your first six star was Duchess, you would have gotten it. Even if you're free to play, your first six star comes at about seven or eight months. I'm working on my second six star already. <clears throat> UDK should lock down the um, Wukong. Wukong is super fast. Oh, that sucks. Kind of sucks, actually. Get the block debuffs out. Okay. This guy has a passive that protects the first champion that dies so it's a bit of a drag oh that's a big chunk let's try to kill this guy without there we go you, you see what i mean and now with this block damage you don't want to hit it because it stuns you you have to be careful about that i didn't use any special moves or anything Oh, that sucks. Yeah, he has a block debuff. Hmm. Gonna get the fat revive off. Oh, no revive. He's still locked out. Sorry. Don't think I can one-shot this Duchess. Yeah, definitely cannot. Locked out again. Should be GG. Yeah. GG.
Legends of Stream. Maybe this guy's streaming. Name looks familiar. Maybe Tag Team Arena. I go Rodos is my last pick. And I'll probably remove Harma. Six star sheep, so similar type of similar type of team as the last player we just played. Except we had first pick, we picked Sifi. This time we picked Duchess. Uh that's fine. That's fine. He probably goes first. Um, he has a bigger aura, and Sifi's probably faster. He probably goes first. Let's see what he's gonna do. Not much for him to do, right? Like, we're just gonna load up on him right now. Like, attack up Rodos. Gonna do a lot of damage to this guy. He should be targeting the Rodos. I mean, this should be over pretty soon here. As soon as I kill off this Sifi, it should be over. Might get a revive here. No. Nope, no revive. So it should be GG. Even attack down should be fine. Yep. GG. Hey, maybe we'll make 4100 today before the end of the video. Hopefully everybody's fusion and Titan event is going well. If you guys are participating, obviously during the holidays is very difficult. I think um, general consensus is not many people are going for the fusion. I think in general people are just more picky with fusions nowadays. Just because they are uh, more expensive than uh, before. Alright. I guess same team. He has similar, similar kind of lineup. So unless he can bring something a little bit different. Or does a different ban, right? We don't have a cleanser, so Uko could be annoying. 
but I'm going to remove Leorius. Yeah, so it's interesting. All three of the um, all three of the matchups where we basically have the identical team, they banned three different champions. Sifi in the first one, and then Tauros, and then Warlord. So it's actually a very interesting um, mix. Mm. Basically doing it for the tur meter. Um my CP is now in protection protection gear, so it's good to get some um, uh, get some of the buffs out to protect from the Uko. Let's see if we can just kill everybody here. Kill most of them. Okay, so he's gonna buff. Yeah, he's gonna come back. Well, that was Duchess. End it? Nope. Damn, resist. Yeah, that's nasty, man. He has attack down, so it's not gonna do too much. I don't really want to give him turn meter. I don't really want to kill him off. He has veil ready. No veil. He has the strip ready. Her again. Wukong can't do anything. He just can't do anything right now. Yeah, like GG. Yeah, he, he as long as. UDK is here against Wukong. Like, I think my chances of winning are very high. Um, but you need something else, like maybe an ally attacker or something to get Wukong through the UDK. Um, or like your team be overpowering, overpowering, like in terms of like speed, like you lap me twice or something, then maybe. Or if your Wukong is like super strong, your AoE can kill some stuff. Yeah. GG. All right, so we finished pretty strong. Super happy to see that. Seven and three. Actually, this is my best live arena gold three session. Actually, um, and my longest win streak. Six wins. Got some really good wins here. Uh, I'm gonna call out SP Panda. I mean, 16 first place platinum trophies. Beat him. That was a really tough match. Um, I mean, this was a close one too, Preda. So next time, if we get a rematch, go after uh, maybe to take a win from him. And then we got our content creator Biohack here. So pretty good session overall, actually. Really happy to see it. Um, what do we got here? Uh, area bonuses. We got two thousand medals. Let's do it. Finish off the two tens for Hydra. GG. All right, guys. I'm just going to hop into the champs here. My Rotos, Taras, Sifi. I literally just changed these builds today. 
So these are like brand new builds. But I'm going to probably change them up uh, a little bit um, later as well. I've been moving gear around a lot lately. I think today I spent like, I don't know, 40 million just moving gear around. Especially for the Curse City and stuff. So, Anyways guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the fight and the video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And uh, I appreciate your time. Have a great weekend if I don't catch you guys. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.